Hey YouTube viewers, today we're going to take a little bit of a break from doing some baking. Um, yesterday we made some perfect delicious Irish scones. I've been eating them round the clock since. The day before that we made some soda bread. So um, over the course of the next coming days, maybe even later on, um, I'll do something baking wise. but. Over the next, of course, the next couple of days with St. Patrick's Day coming, um, we're going to shift gear towards some Irish cuisine, Irish baking, Irish pastry, um, a lot of stuff that you'll be able to make for St. Patrick's Day. But uh, today we're going to take a little bit of a break and do something a little different. Um, not too much time I spent, I believe, on product reviews. And I've actually never made a video or done a product review before. However, I wanted to really talk to you guys all about this one specific product. And it is the Cuisinart Stand Mixer. The reason I want to talk about this is because uh, I don't know how many of you out there were like me. I've wanted one of these for the longest time. I've wanted a stand mixer for many, many years. But I was always thrown off and intimidated by the price. Now, when you look up like stand mixers, of course you're going to come up with um, the kitchen, uh, was it the kitchen, kitchen made. Um, but those ones range from like five hundred dollars, six hundred dollars, and up. So I was always intimidated, thrown off by the price. I was always thinking, you know, do I really need one for that kind of money? Are they worth it for that kind of money? does anything warrant that kind of money to be in the kitchen but um, so if you throw those like kitchen aids aside I came across this one this one is made by Cuisinart now it's got all the same specs as the top of the line brand <clears throat> kitchen aids but it was literally a third of the price I think I paid 155 for this on Amazon now um, much like all the KitchenAid um, stand mixers, it, it has the 5.5 quart stainless steel mixing bowl. So it's got the pushback, just like a KitchenAid. It has a 5.5 quart mixing bowl. Now this particular one came with the whisk attachment. It came with the dough hook attachment, and it came with your mixing attachment. So as you can see, it comes with all the attachments, all the same size mixing bowl, if not larger, some of the kitchen aids that are still ranging in the 300s are like four quarts. This is five and a half quarts. Like I said, I think I paid like 155 for this. So it comes with the same mixing bowl, it comes with the same attachments, it even comes with the pouring guard and the splash guard, which not all of the KitchenAids that I've seen came with. Some of them you had to pay extra for, depending on which limited edition series or which um, serial number. There's so many different KitchenAids, they come in all different this and that, and all different packages, and you know, before you know it, you're paying over five, six hundred dollars for everything that I just paid one hundred and fifty dollars for, one hundred and fifty-five dollars. Now, much like the um, kitchen aids, it does come with the exact same um, powertrain, five hundred watt motor, which is plenty of power. It comes with um, a twelve speed, twelve speed. Um, set it over there so you can mix at any certain speed you need. And the only difference between this and the KitchenAid is that it didn't come with the attachments for the front for like making sausage if you're going to grind your own meat. Now for me that wasn't an issue. I don't do that kind of bake cooking, you know, where I'm going to be grinding my own beef, but if if I ever wanted to, there is a hook for it, you just buy the attachment separate. You know, it didn't come with it, but 
that was the price I was willing to sacrifice. So for $155, this, this thing has been great. This was an early Christmas present to myself. We are now just around the corner from March. I bought this like a week before Christmas. And this thing has been like a godsend ever since with all the baking I do. This thing has been absolutely fantastic. It's well, well, well worth the money. Um, like I said, if, if you're one of the people like me that's always been eyeballing these things and thinking how cool it would be to have one, but you're always a little bit thrown off, a little intimidated by the price, don't go with a KitchenAid. Don't go with one of the top of the brand that are like five, six, seven hundred dollars. Um, Cuisinart's a great brand name. I own a lot of Cuisinart product, but um, I just have to stumble upon this on Amazon, and I figure for the price, um, reputable brand name, what did I have to lose? So I gave it a try, and I have loved this thing ever since. Um, the hook part here, right here, this rotates around just like the KitchenAids as it mixes. So that way, like when you're, um, let's say, using the whisk attachment, it doesn't just like go around in a circle. It's way the entire bowl. Sorry for the noise if that overdrowned me, but it will. It will scrape the entire bowl. Like it doesn't just go in circle. The the arm piece that that connects to rotates while this rotates. So it is going to mix everything in the bowl scrapes off the walls and makes everything to a nice fine dough in the middle. Uh, it's very easy to work with, very easy to clean. Attachments are all uh, dishwasher safe, stainless steel bowls dishwasher safe. You just give this a wipe down when you're done. But like I said, um, Cuisinart is a very reputable brand name and I have wanted one of these for so long that I finally just, when I saw this for the price on Amazon, got good reviews, I figured, what did I have to lose? You know, Amazon's very good with returns if I didn't like it anyway, but uh, the final note, you know, that's like, I'm gonna try and do a little bit more reviews on some products because um, I use so many different kitchen gadgets. I'm just looking around, I have the emulsion mixers, I have my Ninja, I have my Magic Bullet, I have countless, uh, pastry stuff and uh, baking stuff and different baking sheets and you know I it, I have the instant pot I have a slow cooker um, I have an electric griddle I, have, I mean you name it for kitchen and I have it but this was the last piece that I needed to complete my uh, collection of what I needed for the kitchen and I'm sorry it took me so long to get it but um for the price, you're not going to be able to get a better value for the price. So if you're in the market for a stand mixer, and like I had been for the longest time, kept saying, well, I really can't afford it. It's how do I justify spending $550 on one? Just basically, if you, unless you're going to be using it to grind meat, which uh, not many people do, if you're just looking for um, a regular stand mixer, if you're a baker like I am, check this out. I'll leave a link to where I got it from on Amazon underneath, but uh, I can't say enough good things about it for the price. It blows Cuisinart, I mean, no, I'm sorry, just Cuisinart, it blows the kitchen needs out of the border. It does so much more, or so much the same, but for so much less. So. Having said that, um, if you have any questions about it, um, you know, if there's a certain need, you need something certain, specific you need for, and you're, you know, curious, um, just drop me a comment below, and I'll, of course, answer and let you know, but, um, but yeah, that's about it. It's, you know, I can't, I can ramble on forever, but you've probably already lost interest, but give one of these a try. Uh, I don't think you'll be disappointed. And if you have any questions, if there's any specific things you want seen live on video or anything, just don't hesitate to ask. Um, as always, I wouldn't be doing my due diligence by not saying. Just do me a little favor and subscribe. 
Um, I try to make baking videos on a daily basis, whether it be I do some product reviews about baking stuff, or I will just be sharing some of my recipes and doing some baking, but um, just do me a favor, like, like the videos, subscribe to them, share them with your family and friends, um, but let them subscribe to them as well, you know, see if we can get a little bit of, a little bit of following going on in this baking, this baking genre, alright, uh, happy baking to you all, if you have any questions. Never hesitate to drop a comment.